Hi, I'm Dave Wolf and welcome back to the firehouse. We're here today to give you a lesson in the clamping of latch style dome lids that are often found on MC306 or DOT406 gasoline cargo tanks. When you have a cargo tank that rolls over, you may have a lot of minor leaks and you're going to have some major leaks. We want to remind you that to attack the major leaks first and those are usually going to have to do with using the dome clamps themselves. The minor leaks again may include coming around this ring at some point where you have a little spitter. Again, we can come back and get those later, but when you do go back to get them, what you need to do is any place you have a, a, a leak right around here is probably just take a piece of cribbing and just pound on that a little bit. And a lot of time those little leaks will stop. You can tighten up this, this nut and bolt assembly up here, but keep in mind this is made out of brass and if you over tighten it you will strip it out and possibly make a very serious leak out of it. Inside of this dome assembly area here you have a couple of vents. Vent number one is going to be your three pound vent. That's where my finger is pointing right now and it is a very small vent. It is also submerged in a liquid inside the tank. It will probably be a very minor in nature and you can typically take care of any problem with this vent through a plug and patch kit or some, some type of a, a putty that will plug these holes. Your major leaks are just about always going to be the dome lid itself. Currently, this latch style dome lid has been pressurized and as you can see, it's leaking. You can, even if it wasn't leaking, if you didn't see a leak coming down here, the way you could tell it was already pressurized and getting close to leak is that right now where I can fit my fingers in there, that means the vent is expanded. And that's why you're having a leak at this given point in time. In order to keep this from leaking, we're going to have to depress this vent down against a spring that, is, that, is, that will assist us in doing that. Right now, currently, the pressure of the product, the pressure on the container is currently holding this in the open position. Once again, when we're going to clamp this device, what you need to keep in mind is that we may find this, this five pound pressure relief device actually in the center or offset as you see this one right here. Most of the clamps that you find out there will work on this, uh, some better than others. But in order to do the clamping, what you need to keep in mind again is that when you bring your clamp out and you take it out of the packaging it's contained in or, or wherever it's stored at, it's probably going to be in the full lockdown position like this. Prior to going down there where the danger actually exists, make sure that you loosen this thing up and get it, going, get it ready to go. Once you've loosened it up and you go to make your application to try to close down this dome lid, you may find yourself or may find that your clamp doesn't appear to be working. For example, if you put it on this way, you can see that I've got a top hook in, but the bottom hook is not going to go in. This is because it's offset. So what you have to do is rotate this and find a way that it will work, which is just like this. Once you have the clamp on and applied, again, you can start spinning it closed. And once it hits the dome lid, just tighten this down enough until you can see your leak stop. Don't over tighten the clamp. If you over tighten the clamp, you've got to keep in mind that this is a very thin aluminum right here and you do have the ability to damage it or to press down too hard on it and cause, again, a, a worse leak. There's also usually an adjustment cap right here that is covering a, a bolt assembly down here. You do not want to put the head directly in there. And sometimes it may in fact be advisable to put a piece of cribbing in between this small head and the dome itself, just to make sure you got an even force pushing all the way in. And as you can see, with just a little bit of adjustment right there, then in fact you stop the leak. Keep in mind, at this point, what we've done is we've shut down the biggest pressure relief device on the container. If there is ignition source, there can be a significant chance of a blevy, boiling liquid expanding vapor explosion. You need to keep that in mind because those precautions should have took forward before you ever got to the clamping stage here. For more information on our products like this dome leak simulator and this clamp, feel free to visit our website under tools and fittings and also props and simulators.